Hey, second through fourth grade team. This is the video for October week four. Say hi to all of them. Hi. Already the last week of October, crazy. This month has been all about contentment, deciding to be okay with what you have. And so far this month, we've learned about Paul and God can help you be okay no matter what. We talked about money, stuff can't keep you happy. We talked about wanting what others have can make you miserable. And this week, we are talking about the Israelites leaving Egypt as slaves and somehow they were still not content. And our bottom line for this week is don't miss out on what you have now. So um, our memory verse for the month, this is the last week for it. If kids know it, have them go out to the monster in the hallway and grab a bag of candy out of the monster's mouth. Um, the memory verse, then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Also, if kids haven't been here yet this month, give them one of these to take home so that their parents can see what we talked about all month. They can get a fall bucket list. And believe it or not, we are already rolling into the holiday season. Yes, we are. So um, make sure to hand those out. All right, hopping over to our leader's guide this week. Please make sure that you get here at 8.30 and 10.30 so that you can huddle up and pray as a team. And then also pray for your kids. Just that God will help them to stay focused on what they have now and just to celebrate this, um, what they've been given. Then when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, make sure that you know everybody's name. Welcome them all to your group. Make sure any first-time guests feel very welcomed. Um, and then what you're going to do is give a piece of paper to each kid in your group. There's paper on the bottom shelf of your cart underneath kind of all of the stuff. There's blank paper in there. And um, ask them, what kind of invention do you think should be made in the future that will help us with something we don't have now? So um, just see if they can come up with any kind of invention that it might be. You can give them some examples of things that are inventions. Um, encourage them to draw it on the paper, and when they're finished, have them share it with their group. Also, this is not one of the activities, but it was in the stuff for this week, and so I kind of liked it. Um, if kids finish that, or maybe it's too hard, they're not coming up with anything, then um, you can have them find all of these little seek and find things in here. These are different inventions that have come throughout time. And so you can talk about here's some inventions that people made that helped um, help things get better. So find these in here and see if you can think of any others. Um, then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to get, you're going to have, you have two puzzles per cart. So you're going to split your small group into two teams. And you're going to give them each a puzzle, and you're just going to encourage them to work together to do their puzzles. And you'll close it down by saying, guys, as much as I love doing puzzles, I always rush to put them together, and then I'm bummed when it's over. So I'm so excited about getting the puzzle done that I miss out on the fun of actually building it. Well, today in large group, we're going to learn about some people who also missed out on what was right in front of them. So then head across the hall to large group, help them to um, listen. Today, this week, we're going to have a host, but they will there will be a video for the story. <clears throat> so just help your kids to listen and engage in the video. And then when you get back to your rooms, um, the review activity is called Future Fast Forward. So you're going to make um, a shield, and I will show you what that looks like. On the bottom of your cart, um, you have, sorry, it's in here. Um, they're split into two piles, one for first service and one for second service. Sorry, I should have gotten this out beforehand. But it's a little shield, so the kids will cut them out. And then there is a piece of cardstock that they will put on the back as like a little handle for their shield. So there's tape. They'll tape it to the back so that they can stick their hand through it and use the shield. Um, so that's what it looks like. So you're going to give each kid a shield and put the markers where everybody can reach them. And then you're going to encourage your group to draw a mural of all the things that kids can do that adults can't. So maybe brainstorm a few things before they get started. Um, kids can play. They don't have to go to work. Um, they can do maybe some silly things. They could take naps. They can make friends easily, maybe less awkward. Um, while they're thinking and drawing, maybe draw your own illustration of what you miss most about being a kid. And then after kids are finished, have them share their drawings with the rest of the group and just make it personal. On your drawing, explain what you felt, what you feel like you're missing out on by not being a kid anymore. And then um, use the cardstock strips to make handles. We've already cut those out for you. <coughs> so I just have to take them on. Sorry. <coughs> then to close down, you're just going to say, guys, I know it seems like there's so many awesome things that you can do when you get older. But you all had some amazing thoughts and ideas on what adults are missing out on. 
you did a great job focusing on what's right in front of you. And just like the Israelites in our story today, we can get distracted thinking about what we don't have instead of seeing what we have right now. So do you guys remember why the Israelites were complaining? That's right. And what they and what did they have right in front of them that they were totally missing out on? So see if kids kind of review the story a little bit. The next time you're tempted to be discontent with where God has you, just remember, don't miss out on what you have now. And maybe share a story about a time when you found yourself being discontent and you learned how to not be discontent. So like right now with having a baby, sometimes it's hard. I want to like wish this season away, but trying not to. So um, then for the Bible verse activity, kids, um, shields, they're going to need their shields that they're just made. And then you have your pink, you'll have, um, you have a baggie of ping pong balls on the bottom of your cart. And um, you have masking tape on your cart and your markers. So you're going to practice the memory verse together. And then you're going to hand out the markers and have kids write the translation. Um, just write this version of the memory verse. You're going to have them write that um, on the back side of their shield. And then when everyone is finished, you're going to divide your group into two teams. And you're going to put a line down the middle of your area. And you're going to give each team half the ping pong balls and instruct them to divide evenly amongst their teammates. So you'll split the balls evenly between all your kids. And then when you say go, they're going to throw the ping pong balls at the other team, but they also have to use their shields to dodge the ping pong balls that are coming their way. And just make sure that they know not to step over the middle line. And when you close that down, you're just going to say, so guys, and maybe just set a time limit. Say, okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to pick up ping pong balls and throw them at each other and try to block them with your shield. And this just say... So I'm not sure what you all were better at, throwing or dodging them. Awesome job. So you guys know you all just displayed a perfect example of what our verse has been talking about all month. We want to be on guard against wanting more and more things. So we want to dodge and avoid this discontentment, all these wants that create discontentment. So keep defending your heart like you defended your body with that shield and don't miss out on what you have now. So then you have some optional small group discussion questions. We have a bucket of candy in each room. So maybe you could pass around the bucket to your small group and while they're eating some candy, uh, maybe have them tell you their Halloween joke and then go over some of these optional small group discussion questions. And then just to close down in prayer, um, guide kids, just a quick review. Um, get, here's a couple questions. So one thing that keeps you from being content, um, where do you feel like you're not content? And maybe if they know each other well, let them pair off and talk about it with a partner and then just pray over your group as you finish this month. Um, when their parents come, make sure you, they show their shield and give them a high five and tell them don't miss out on what you have now. So that's it for this week, guys. Halloween's coming up, so you can use that as a great icebreaker for your group, asking them what they're going to be, um, asking them what joke they're going to tell. And it should be a great week. Can't believe October's already over. November's coming up at us. Thank you guys for serving week in and week out. Um, really, I went to an Orange Tour this past week, and they talked about it even more, just reinforced that small group leaders are what it is all about. And if we did not have small group leaders, all we would have is just a program on Sunday mornings. And small group leaders are where the relationship comes in, and that's where life change happens. So just thank you guys for building relationships with these kids each and every week. I'm so grateful for all of you, and we'll see you on Sunday.